I think it's probably one of the best Christmas presents I've ever had. <laughs> I became a DACA recipient in December of 2012. I was born in Mexico City, but when I was three years old, me, my mom, and my dad made the journey to the United States. My mom had a sister here in Las Vegas, so we settled here. I came out as a lesbian to my parents when I was 16 years old. The, the complicated part about it was that my peers accepted me for um, identifying as a lesbian woman and being a lesbian woman, but they didn't know how to relate with me on being undocumented. And then it was the same thing at home, but the other way. I felt like I was in this box where nobody identified with the same identities that I had. So I felt like I couldn't relate to anyone. I couldn't talk to anyone about this. DACA is the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals. It's an executive order that was announced by President Obama in 2012. Unfortunately, um, the current administration has announced on September 5th that they were going to be rescinding the program. It was something that was given to us to actually be able to fulfill a lot of our dreams. And, and many DACA recipients, you know, took that little piece of something that was given to us and they did amazing things. And I think that's why it's important to make sure that we pass the DREAM Act because it will ensure that they continue to follow their dreams. DACA was really the one thing that allowed me to be less afraid and just kind of be more vocal about immigrant rights issues. I'm a community organizer with the Progressive Leadership Alliance in Nevada. So we had actually four DACA renewal clinics. Everybody that helps with this, they're volunteers. Um, so this allows us to provide the service for free for folks that come. So that that way they can just go directly and send it in before the October 5th deadline. So DACA has helped my life in many, many ways. Una de ellas es de que me ha dado más oportunidades, um, me ha hecho más fuerte y también me ha dado la oportunidad de ver hacia el futuro. It's not just an immigrant issue, it's not just an undocumented issue. It's also U.S. citizens that are that are struggling with this. Like my brother, my brother's a U.S. citizen, but he has a sister that has DACA and he has two parents that are both undocumented. So my brother is constantly living with that fear of whether his parents are going to come home or not. This is our home. This is the only country that we know. Um, this is where our roots are at. We were given this opportunity and, and we were given this program and we ran with it. We're not just gonna, you know, give it back that easily. Mm -hmm.